coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your brand new Java tutorial series and this is Peter aka coding made easy bringing it to you. So anyways uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to teach you guys about Java and I haven't done it. I've avoided it for a while because I had a lot of different tutorial series going on but um, here we go. This is Java. So the uh, for those of you who don't know which language to choose and why Java, well, Java is the is an object-oriented language. For one, it is number two garbage collected, which I know a lot of you might not know about, but it, that is a, a significant reason why it is a lot easier to code in than C plus um, plus. And uh, yeah, did I just say it was cross-platform? Man, it's like four in the morning, man. Yeah, it was cross-platform, so anybody, um, you can run your program on any single computer, and um, it, it's relatively easy to pick up, and a lot of you might learn it, in, whether in high school, in college, or university. It is a very popular language that is growing daily in the industry. Uh, but yeah, so in this tutorial, we're not going to be doing any code. Uh, we're just going to be installing the tools that we need to actually get started so we're going to be downloading an IDE called Eclipse and what an IDE means is integrated development environment and uh, if you're a beginner programmer you're going to be hearing that a lot in your programming career uh, but an IDE is basically a tool for programmers um, that it has a built-in text editor, a debugger, and it compiles your code for you and does a bunch of other fancy stuff depending on which IDE you use. Uh, but basically, the main thing it does is that it has a built-in text editor, sort of like Notepad++ or, no or Notepad, and it has a debugger, so if you make any mistakes, it tells you where you made the mistakes. And last but not least, it's it compiles it which changes human readable code to machine code so without further ado let's get started so we're going to type in eclipse download and it should be on the top if it's not uh, just type in java eclipse download or here's the link right here we're going to click on eclipse downloads and we're going to download eclipse ide for java developers now if you are using a mac or a or linux i'm not sure if you can use a clips for it i think you can but i'm not entirely sure uh but you might have to use another ide you can use netbeans you can use anything else any java ide will do and uh we're gonna click it and we're gonna click the download button to download but i already have it and what we're also gonna do is say we're gonna search for the java development kit so a lot of you guys probably already know what Java is. Uh, you probably have it installed on your computer so you can run Java-based applications, whether it's on the web, whether it's on your computer, whatever. And that is called the Java Runtime Environment and it allows you to run Java programs. Uh, what we have, what we need to do in order to develop games or any type of software, anything with Java, we need what is called the Java Development Kit. And it's a special kit with a bunch of special functions and a bunch of special things needed to actually code for Java. And at the top we see Java SE Downloads and that stands for Java Standard Edition and if we click that link, there's a bunch of different editions like Java EE, Java ME, Java FX, and there's a bunch of different ones. We want the Java Standard Edition. So we're going to go here, we're going to click download. And we're going to say we accept the license agreement and whichever operating system you're using, we'll download the corresponding one. And you just want to uh, click, the, go through the installation process and it, it should be, I'm pretty sure you guys have installed something before on your computer. Uh, just install it and you'll be fine. You'll be ready to go. Now, once you open up the Eclipse zip file, you will get a folder called Eclipse. And I want you to extract that anywhere in your computer. And inside that folder, we only care about this file right here. We don't care about anything else right now. We just want the Eclipse application. And what I want you to do is open that up. Now, once you open this up, it's going to ask you for a workspace. Now, basically, you can have multiple projects going on at once. 
Say for example, you're making a game and you want to have a tile map editor as one project and the actual game as another project. So you can have multiple projects inside a workspace. And if, I, if you've used something like Visual Studio for say C Sharp or Visual Basic or anything in the past, it's like a solution. So you can have multiple projects in a single workspace. But we're only going to be working with one project for now and we might expand to multiple projects in the future. So I saved mine in, in the, my D drive and I'm just going to click OK. And it's just going to load the workbench and everything. And um, what you're going to see for the first time is going to have a bunch, it's going to have a welcome screen with a bunch of overview. Uh, it's going to say overview and all these different things. And I would encourage you to look at those just to, to get used to the IDE. Because remember, it is a tool that you're going to be using a lot in your Java career the Java lifespan so get used to it even though you might not know what all these things do just get familiar with it But what we want to do now is we want to go to Windows and preferences and we want to change a few things so first of all we want to go to the general tab we want to go to editors and we want to click text editors we want to select show line numbers so we can actually see the line numbers and the reason why that's useful is whenever we get debugging errors, it will tell us which line number has the error and therefore um, we can find the error, error quicker. Now another thing which is a personal preference for me is the indentation of certain things. And so I'm going to click Java and I'm going to click Code Style and I'm going to click Formatter and you're going to click New, I already created one and so I'll click edit and it's just that by default if I open up notepad right now by default I know you guys might not know what uh, these means but uh, this means sorry but by default we enc we encapsulate things using braces and you'll learn more about this in my tutorials and uh, the braces they normally align this uh, in Java like so so starting brace here the closing brace here um, and you'll see a lot majority of Java programs like that. I like to indent my code like this so I can see where the matching brace is. It's easier for me. It's up to you whether you want to change it to my settings, but um, but yeah, it's just up to you. And um, and yeah, so here are all my settings. You just go to the braces tab and change it to wherever you like to change it to, and click OK. And last but not least, my font is different than your font. And if you would like to change the font, if I can remember how to do it, um, I, yeah, you click Appearance in the General tab, Colors and Fonts. You will go to Basic, the Basic folder, and click Text Font. You click Edit, and you will change it to whatever font you would like to change it to. And that's it for the initial setup. So I'm going to end this tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we are going to create our first Java program. I didn't want to do it in this tutorial because I did not want to do too much. But in the next tutorial, uh, we will get everything started. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, that's it for this tutorial. And the next one will be coming out within the next three hours. Last thing I have to mention, though, is that the uh for this tutorial series it's never going to be ending as java upgrades if they add any, anything new to java i will always be adding to this tutorial series so you will have the latest you can always come back and learn the latest things that java has included so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and bye for now